We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. The end zone down for touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Now he pitches it. He's into the open field. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. He really shows him there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets, everybody does, you have to mention this young man. He Skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Tackle and run up the gut. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Here we go! Easy, easy, easy! 19! 19! 19! Hut hot! Hut hot! Hut hot! Hut Pitches in and he's got a lane. He's at the 30. For the 20. The 10. Down ducks. Once this kid gets into the open field, you're not going to catch him. You know, some of his critics say that all he has is track speed. Well, let me tell you, speed is speed, as we just saw right there. He makes the PAT. So play 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown. After touchdown, say, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone. Ohio State's offense centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. Time after time, he just avoids mistakes and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he tackles the guard. They make the stop at the 48-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. The throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 27. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to pick out. Or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. Running back gets a yard, maybe less. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back Keep everything in front of them. Come up and make a tackle. Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Well, I thought they'd keep it on the ground here, but they go to the air and pick up the first down. I think the defense thought they were going to the ground as well, and that's what let this guy get open for a split second and get the first down. Brought down at about the 7-yard line. That's good for a game of 8 yards. That makes it second and two. Kill, 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 
will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Pitch out, got the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. Nice run up the middle. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That's how we do. That'll make it second and four. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Ready! 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 Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He's into the open field. Runs outside for a nice game. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled at the 45. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and eight. eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 38. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. He's at the 20. Tackle made at the 16. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And they get nice yardage on that run. Ball on the loose ball. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7.
They're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They line up at the seven. It's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Looking for the corner. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 7-yard line. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 44-yard line, third down. Get on the throw, he caught it. He's out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Nice play to set up first and goal. Third trip now into the red zone. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. Good tackle there in space. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining five on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Set out, Jim. Run left side. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That'll make it 
it's second and four. four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Got the corner. Gets out to around the 25. That's a game of 15. First down. Has some daylight. Makes his way out to about the 15. That'll make it second and inches. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay of game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So they have a second and five following the penalty. Three down, three down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Hey, look 48. Hey, come back to 48. Down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That brings us to 15. They're going to try a long field goal here. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Here's a fourth down and long situation following the penalty. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's leveled at the 47. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Oregon is up four. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the 50. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Second and six. He scrambled. He's going to take off. Tackle at the 35 yard line.
tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. It's up. And it's wide left. No good. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-10, Oregon. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready, green 90, green 90. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. up a yard on the counter. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. What a collision. Not a bad return. They're ready to begin another drive. Oregon is up by four. There's a fumble. The defense has it. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six.
They didn't and snap the ball in time. The play. Delay, Delay of game, game offense. offense. Look like they might have been a little Still bit late getting the down. play in, and it results in a delay of game. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. The ball pops free. Defense says they've got it, and they do. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Makes it to the 47. That's a deep That brings up second and one. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Makes it to the 44. Incomplete. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Mike five. Mike five. Caught and he's hit immediately. Over the middle to his tailback. And down he goes at the 34. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He might have a chance, and he's tackled at about the 31. Around the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Right. Buffalo, Buffalo! 36! Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 28. That's good for a gain of two yards. High five! That High makes five. it to the seven. Oregon is up four. Throws out, got his back again. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. That's a game of two. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-10, Oregon. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Up the middle for a nice game. Get up, 
He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down. From their own 43 yard line. It's second down. So at the end of three, the Ducks lead 17 10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Has some daylight. Runs outside for a nice game. Game of six yards. First down. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 32. So they're going to go for it here. He's on the run. Got him. They try to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. A score here might effectively end this one. Oregon is up by a touchdown. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Second down and 14. Ball on the 33. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it third and eleven. Mike Bond, Mike Bond, you can't block me. You can't block me. Easy, easy, easy. Block it, block it. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. There's a strike complete. 
Tackle at the 47 yard line. That's good for a of 13 yards. That makes it first and Just over two minutes in the game. And he's tackled right away. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 44-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Excellent open field tackle. A gain of six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we don't like the 48. And he hits him hard at the 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. Number 48 takes the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings up second and one. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 21. First down. All day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Number 12 with the tackle. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Now he's scrambling. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. There's a will be tied with the extra point. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Just over a minute left. He makes the PAT. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. And he's level at the 15. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. He wants it all. 
Got it to the senior. Inside the 30. He's taken down right around the 12-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. the middle. Oregon's going to use their first time out of the half here. Touchdown, Ducks! the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 24-17. The Buckeyes have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Makes it out to about the 26. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. Room around the corner. And they push him out at the 28-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oregon up seven points. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Ohio State's out of timeouts. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 24-17, Ducks. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.